Well, the NAFTA is obviously currently under renegotiation, and one of the topics within that renegotiation is Chapter 11 and the desirability of Investor State Dispute Settlement, ISDS, within that process. There has been criticism, particularly from the United States, about the manner in which ISDS allegedly deprives sovereignty from the United States and that therefore one might expect to see uh, a reeling in of the scope of ISDS, notwithstanding the fact that indeed the United States has never lost a case and United States investors have frequently brought cases. Over the past year, um, the questions arising out of the TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, where curiously some European countries were fighting against the inclusion of ISDS, or at least ISDS in its current form of arbitration, uh, as a consequence of uh, civic uh, responses to the proposal. Uh, the proposed solution by the European Union in that context was to establish an investment court system whereby there would be a permanent panel of judges, both at first instance and on appeal, which would review the same questions. Indeed, that has been the model which we have seen in other EU trade agreements. We have seen a pushback by certain uh, developing countries with regard to investor state arbitration, particularly those countries which have been the object of multiple claims. Uh, those countries have, in certain circumstances, begun to denounce their entire treaty network or on occasion those specific treaties that they consider are being used in an abusive manner. One of the most interesting developments has been China's Belt and Road Initiative, which uh, essentially is an initiative aimed at developing projects, major infrastructure projects particularly, and one would expect to see in a large number of those projects international arbitration as the preferred dispute resolution mechanism. Diversity is a topic of ever-increasing importance in the world of international arbitration and one of the catalysts for that discussion has been the Equal Representation in Arbitration Pledge, the aim of which is to ensure that women are appointed as arbitrators on an equal opportunity basis. And what we will be seeing over the next year is whether or not the signature of that pledge is leading to real changes in the statistics. Mm -hmm.